Okay, here's the pulse motor for the pulse motor build-off. It's made up of uh, four poles, uh, eight transistors, there are two charge batteries, the back two and the front one is being charged from the pulse through a full wave of bridge rectifier and into a third battery. And on this side, we have off a <coughs> generator coil coming here that's uh, going to charge this little 4 amp hour battery, worker battery that is being pulsed, I mean being run by the pulse motor here and it's all being run off the 100 amp hour battery and uh, that's about the size of it. I'll get it up and running and be right back. Alrighty. It's up and warm, uh, warmed up. It's a little chilly in the garage this morning. It's like 47. And so the bearings are a little stiff and it won't quite come up to speed. It's, uh, it got up to 1978 for RPMs. Uh, without the uh, extra generator wheel magnets on it, it'll run 3,000 RPMs. So our charge battery, or our charging batteries are uh, 1278. The uh, extra battery is, uh, that's being charged from the charge batteries is up to 1231. I have not hooked up the, uh, the little worker battery yet that's running off the generator and uh, ampere, or the voltage on the run battery is down to 1220. And um, it's, a, it's a fairly nice little unit. Let me hook up the uh, generator and then I'll have to make a couple adjustments because uh, the RPMs is going to drop drastically. But uh, now the little worker battery is being charged from the generator coil. And the RPMs are still dropping. But it's starting to level out. Last one was uh, 13. It's cold this morning, doesn't want to run down there. But that's basically it in a nutshell. It will run and run the auxiliary generator and charge the auxiliary little worker battery. See the voltage is still going up. RPMs are at uh, 11.76. That's uh, Lens Law taking over. Worker battery still going up. The other three batteries are still charging. And uh, that's about it for my uh, pulse motor build-off.